Measures of variation. Range. What do we mean by variation? Well, variation is how much something varies or how much the data is spread out. Why do we want to know about variation? One reason would be it would help us know which things are more consistent. The high temperatures last week were 85 degrees, 82 degrees, 76 degrees, 76 degrees, 73, 70, and 73 degrees. What is the range of the degrees? So when we're trying to find the range, we're looking for the smallest and largest number. So the largest is 85. And the smallest one is 70. And to find the range from 70 to 85, all you do is subtract. So 85 minus 70 is 15. So our range is 15. In the 2014 NBA playoffs, the Miami Heat beat the Brooklyn Nets in five games. LeBron scored 22, 22, 28, 49, and 29 points in those games. What is the range of his scores for the series? So again, you take the largest and you subtract the smallest from it to get the range. So the largest one was 49 points. He scored a lot of points that game. And then you need to take away the smallest one, which is 22. And we find that the range is 27 points. He went all the way from 22 points up to 49, and his range was 27. Coach wants to know which player is more consistent. How could you decide? Well, we got two players. We've got Eli and we've got Isaac. And what we can do is find the range of their scores. So the range for Isaac, well, his best game was 20 minus his worst game of 1. So he had 19. That's his range. Eli, on the other hand, his best game was 15 minus his worst game, 7. And so he has a range of 8. Which player is more consistent? Meaning his point totals are closer together. Isaac's range is larger, meaning that he is more spread out. He went all the way from 1 point to 20 points. That's very spread out. Eli didn't score as many points. But he didn't drop as low either, so his range was only 8. So Eli is the more consistent player because his points scored were closer together. He had a smaller range.